and I'm reporting live from the floor of Digital World Expo 2011. There's so much going on here today. I'm really excited to share, so stay tuned. Hello, Sarah Gabriella with Finesse News, and I am here with Gina Lasta, Editor-in-Chief of Center Mag. Hey, Gina, how are you going? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for coming over. So, Center Mag is, is, is pretty new. What issue are you guys on? Um, we're actually technically on our fifth issue um, right now that we're working on. Uh, we came out in 2009. Um, it was a collaboration of me and of some friends who work in, as creatives. And we came out just to see. We were really unsatisfied with a lot of the publications that were in town and we wanted to do something that was more content driven. So we came up with this new concept, um, which this was the third issue and um, this third issue was basically to take a lookbook and QR code all the information by combining print social and online media so that when you scan these QR codes you will unlock all the content of the magazine and there's a QR code on each page uh, where can we go to read Center mag or pick up a copy um, you can go to all our content is online at centermag.com and we are actually in the process of distributing this next issue which will be out on October 21st and it's our geek issue and it kind of focuses about all on all the people that are kind of changing Vegas whether it be technology or culture wise and um, that, that will actually be a release at the Artifice downtown and um, you'll be able to pick it up almost at every bar downtown and there'll be a distribution list on our site as well as where, to, where you can pick it up. Great. Where can we follow you on social media? Social media, you can follow us, at, us on Twitter at, at centermag.com and on Facebook at centermag. At Center thank you, Gina. Okay, thank you so much. And right now, who do we have here? Sean Rourke. Now, Sean, what is the vision of Digital World Expo? Why start this in 2011, and where do you see it going? Uh, we felt it was time to go ahead and bring a new conference to surface that integrated the three different elements of learning and just opportunity discovery, as well as the, talking about the future. The future is important these days. We feel it needs to kind of be mixed in with the discussions, and everybody's looking for the next newest, biggest thing, and that's what we tried to create here was an environment where people can get those you know, experiences and know how to integrate them for their business. So that's what we did. What would you say to the people that weren't able to attend Digital World Expo 2011, what they can expect for 2012, and why they should uh, get down here? Mm -hmm. Well, the only thing I could say is you missed it this year, but uh, next year we are planning on expanding our classes to include different types of disciplines uh, that also are applicable in the tech media industry. Um, you know, classes that can help educate others, you know, in their different areas such as technology or programming and development, not necessarily just branding, marketing, and media. Um, I think the expansion of classes is going to be important and also will the content of the exhibit hall and the attendees that come with it. So. Okay. So um, what can, how can people get in contact with you uh, that are interested in exhibiting sponsoring next year how can they get in contact with you and what's the best way for them to do that best way to do is just go right through our website like it has been for the past 12 years of any company out there just go to digitalworldexpo.com or you can call our offices on the number on there or you can email myself personally sean at dwxpo.com right on we had a great time thank you for having us thank you. we'll see you next year appreciate that. Thanks for coming out. We're here at Digital World Expo 2011. We're just wrapping up and who do I have here with me? I'm Matt Dixon and I'm the content and sponsorship uh, manager for Digital World Expo. Right on, right on. So what was your expectation for this year and do you consider it a success and what do you think all the attendees thought about this, uh, this great event? I, I would consider it a success. A success. Uh, my intention and, and my vision for it was to provide a, a, an educational forum for not only people in the digital and, and advertising and marketing industry, but also for entrepreneurs, small business owners, people who might not necessarily have the access to these type of events. Uh, the, the educational material that was uh, passed on here, the, the sessions uh, throughout the two days, is, is everything that a small business owner and entrepreneur should know. Uh, they may have an idea of how to, to get into the digital and emerging media space, but they may not know the best practices. And they may have to go and spend money with somebody at a firm saying, hey, just give me whatever I need. Well, now at least they hopefully have an understanding. They can ask the right questions and not necessarily buy into what somebody's trying to sell them. What was that wicked AR tattoo all about? I mean, who came up with that idea and like, how'd you guys get that started? Because I heard that's pretty hot. The, the AR tattoo, uh, and we're calling it an augmentat. 
um, is is uh, an idea that was formulated um, basically being in the digital space. Uh, Mike uh, York, who's our IT and web content guy, uh, has wanted a tattoo for a while. Thought it'd be cool to toss in some AR. Uh, every all the things that we'd researched and found, there was QR codes inside tattoos and and simple block designs that would pick up augmented reality. Easy something something easy for a reader to understand. Uh, we never found anything that was an actual piece of art, an actual artistic tattoo uh, that you could turn into or, or augment with uh, a, a viewfinder on a phone in, in augmented reality. So we, we uh, threw caution to the wind, and, and Mike was brave enough to go and do it and, and get a, a piece of ink on his arm. Uh, and it turned out we, we have the first actual piece of art, a real tattoo that is image recognizable through an IR uh, for a viewfinder and uh, can augment reality on top of it. it it's, it's pretty impressive and uh, lays the base for hopefully something that can be uh, profound. So what, uh, what do we have planned for the rest of the evening? I mean, what's going on? I heard there's a little party going on. What's, what's, what's that all about? There's a party going on. It's our uh, closing party here for Digital World Expo uh, version 201.1 and uh, it's going to be at the uh, Mirage Pool Deck at the uh, Dolphin Bar. Uh, it'll be a good time. Got some some good music, some uh, go-go dancers on platforms, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Well, hey, let's go get this party started. Have a few drinks. Hey, thanks for having I'm us, in. Matt. Thanks, Mom. I gotta say that um, it's exciting to be here at the DWE after party. So, you know, um, everybody put in a lot of hard work. They threw a fabulous event, and now it's time to relax and have fun and enjoy the night. That's me, Wayne Alexander, uh, Vegas Wayne on Twitter. It's going off right over there. They got the DJ spinning. He's blowing it up, kicking it off. It was a great expo, Digital World Expo this year. I cannot wait to come back next year. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Uh, Even they're gonna, better. Oh yeah, they're gonna have all the HD speakers here. It's gonna be insane. It's gonna be one of a kind next year, one of a kind. So it's gonna be absolutely amazing. So yo, what are we uh, what are we gonna do now? Are we like ready to get this party started? You know, we've been sitting here for a little bit, you know, just watching all the content recording. Are we gonna go have a good time now, team? What's good? Absolutely, we're gonna have a good time um, to keep updated for next year, so that you're prepared and you're here can be here to join us and have fun at DW Expo on Twitter, and don't forget at Finesse LV to follow us. <laughs> 